Just a touch of magic, close your eyes, let your mind go blank. Imagine that you're laughing loud or playing a silly prank. Now lean against a solid air, it's a bit like a feather down. Now shut your eyes and clap your hands, but the gods ain't curdling down. So you take a breath and you push away, just as hard as you possibly can. This show is, as we know, a popular children's classic. It is wonderfully filled with so much imagination and play. And for me, this is really key to put that in right at the forefront, but also a really positive future idea of what might happen in the future if we dare to imagine and if we let, let ourselves dream and, and be open to possibility. This Peter Pan is fresh and new. Now Peter Pan is mine. Look It was unlike anything else. Like we just, it was just so much fun. Yeah, because everyone got <laughs> everyone got on really well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've never done anything it like was, this. I've never been away like this. And it, it was, was hard work, but we didn't. It didn't feel like hard work. No, it felt like fun. I did BYMT back in 2017 on Gulliver's Travels in Belfast and I've always wanted to do it since but it's never been the right time and I couldn't be happier to be doing Peter Pan as Peter Pan this year. If I stay home with mother, just see what I might have been. Hope the British ambassador would be faithfully for the Queen. I wasn't really sure what it was going to be like. I just thought this sounded like a cool opportunity and I'm so glad I took it. The perfect English gentleman, the leader of the cloud. The perfect English gentleman, the leader of the cloud. This Peter Pan is electrifying. It will blow your mind. <laughs> Choreographically, we've worked together really. Um, on their strengths and what I envision movement-wise for the show. So we've workshopped a lot of the movement and that's been a lot of fun. And then we've come to an agreement really with what we feel the Neverlanders should move, should move like, the pirates should have a different identity um, with movement and the lost children have their own identities. That, that's more of a toy choreography. So that was really fun to do. Um, something I've never done before. You're Friend be. I actually really enjoyed the rehearsal process of this show. We've had two weeks, just over two weeks, um, to put the whole show together and I've really enjoyed working with all the creatives. It's been really interesting hearing all of their different experiences of performance they've done and how experiences from their life has actually helped us develop our characters, mm -hmm. which has just been a lot of fun. It's just been so much fun. Mm -hmm. It's the only word you can use to describe them as professional. Um, they really put their heart and soul into everything. Um, they really bring an en energy into the rehearsal room that then makes us um, have a lot of energy. And I think that that's just, it's really a, um, a good energy to be around. There's an ache inside my heart and it's tearing me apart. has taken a whole cast of individuals and thrown together all the skills and life experiences each person brings to create a project that really shows off all of those together. Starkey! Sorry Captain! An experience that lots of people will gain knowledge from and professional knowledge and they will never forget this, and I think it's going to be a big part of my life for a long time. I think it's so important that BYMT does offer great opportunities for young people, creatives, to come together and to really, um, hopefully, we're inspiring them because they are the future. Hey.